If you haven't heard of Bulletproof Coffee, you're probably either very new to keto or you've been living under a rock. Bulletproof Coffee is a staple in the keto diet. Well, I take that back. Some people either love it and they swear by it or they're very anti-Bulletproof Coffee because it is filled with lots of fat. It's mostly designed just to be a breakfast replacement or a meal replacement in the morning or the afternoon. It's not designed to have like eight cups of Bulletproof Coffee a day, which is a mistake I've made before because I love coffee and I'm kind of addicted. But if you haven't heard of Bulletproof Coffee before, it was invented by the Bulletproof man himself, Dave Asprey. He has a whole line of coffee that is supposed to be mycotoxin free, mold free, very safe, good, easy to drink coffee. It's also very expensive, like $20 a bag or something like that. I can't afford that, so I just get the regular beans. But basically, Bulletproof Coffee, the traditional form, is supposed to have unsalted butter or ghee grass-fed and MCT oil. I actually use his Brain Octane oil, which is a smaller, medium-chain triglyceride that's supposed to be directly converted into energy into the brain. Um, some people do use coconut oil, but I follow Dave Asprey's recipe of the unsalted butter, um, it has to be grass-fed, and the Brain Octane oil, and with my coffee. I like to blend it, but you can use a frother as well too, um, but I feel like the blending it makes it really, really creamy. But there's different ways that you can make Bulletproof coffee. Some people use coconut oil, some people use ghee, some people use MCT oil, some people use MCT powder, um, they add vanilla, sweetener, swerve, monk fruit, stevia, Splenda. I mean, there's tons of ways and tons of different versions. But today I'm going to show you how to make the traditional Bulletproof coffee with the unsalted butter and MCT oil. And I'm also going to show you how to make a mocha Bulletproof coffee plus a caramel macchiato version. So make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more keto recipes I post every Monday and Thursdays. Keep watching. The first recipe I'm going to show you is for the original Bulletproof coffee. It's real simple to make. You just need two tablespoons of unsalted grass-fed butter and one to two tablespoons of MCT oil. So first you pour in the desired amount of coffee into a blender. I usually make 16 ounces worth, give or take about 8 ounces, mostly because coffee is my best friend. And then you toss in your butter and MCT oil and give it a spin in the blender until the butter is melted and it's all frothy and lovely looking. Up next is the Bulletproof Mocha, and you don't have to waste five bucks a day on your mochas anymore. Plus, this is low carb. Ingredients are fairly simple. You just need MCT oil or coconut oil, cocoa powder, heavy cream, vanilla, oh, and coffee, of course. Once again, pour your coffee into a blender, 60 ounces, I'm kidding. Um, it's probably like 16 to 36. Looks like I did a whopping 36. Then you add your MCT oil, quarter cup of cream, two tablespoons of uh, coconut powder, and a splash of vanilla. And you can add a little bit of sweetener too. Then you just give it a whirl in the blenders, but feel free to use an electric frother or an immersion blender too. Look at how beautiful that is. And if you're looking for a little bit more richness, top it off with a few dollops of keto whipped cream. I also like to drizzle it with some sugar-free, keto-friendly chocolate syrup by Chalk Zero. I will leave the link below on where you can buy it. Now it's really starting to look like a coffee house drink. And last 
is my favorite if I'm wanting a sweet drink. It's a keto bulletproof caramel macchiato and it's delicious. For this recipe, I use one cup of macadamia nut milk by Milkadamia, and I'll leave the link below on where you can buy this. Um, you can also use any milk of choice. Then some MCT oil, of course, and the star of the show, caramel syrup, also by Chalk Zero, and vanilla, of course. And plus, if you're looking for a little bit of sweetener, which I recommend in this drink, I like to use monk fruit drops by Lakanto. Start by heating up your milk. I use the microwave and then I froth it with my mini frother majig. But you can use whatever device you want, an immersion blender, a regular blender, whatever you have on hand. And then because I like to pretend like I'm a barista, I drizzle some caramel with the chalk zero syrup down the sides of my cup. I'm sure this is how they do it at Starbucks too. Then pour your coffee in and the frost milk too. Then give it a final spin with your little frother majig just to make it a little extra frothy and then drizzle some more of that caramel syrup on top and you're done. So, so good guys. Well, there you go. I hope you found those tips helpful and maybe you could follow one of those recipes and make it tomorrow morning. How do you guys bulletproof? Let me know in the comments below what you like to add to your coffee to make it bulletproof. I personally, I just go for the standard. Like I said, the traditional grass-fed butter and the brain octane oil. But lately I just add a lots of cream to it too. Actually not lots of try and like limit my fat intake on that. Um, also, I love just macadamia milk in there too. That's very delicious. Um, occasionally I'll just have it black. But those are my faves. What's yours? Let me know again in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get some more awesome keto ideas that I'm going to put out every week.